Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply picture corrections. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a PowerPoint presentation open here, and the first thing that we're going to go over is the positioning and ordering of your images. You'll see that I have a picture on top of some text here, but I want the picture to be behind the text. Well, to do that, we need to first click on the picture of the musical notes, and then I'll go here to the Picture Tools Format tab. This is where we're going to be working for most of this lesson, so uh, in order to get here, again, you have to have your picture selected. So in the Picture Tools Format tab, look towards the right side and you'll see the Arrange group. This is where we can choose to send our picture forward or backwards. Since we want this to be more of a background, we want to send it backwards. You have two options. You can hit the Send Backward command, which will send the object back one level so it's hidden behind more objects, or you can hit the Send Backward arrow, which will bring up a drop-down list with Send Backward or Send to Back. Since I know that this one here is going to be a background image, I'm going to click send to back, meaning nothing will be behind it anymore. I do that, and the text that was originally there is now on top of the picture. So that looks good. Now let's go to slide two. On slide two here, I'm going to insert in a new picture. So this picture, or this part over here towards the right side, is a colored rectangle shape. And I could actually put a picture inside of this shape. Let's say that I like the shape of this rectangle. I could go to the uh, click on it first and then go to the drawing tools format tab and then the shape styles group and I could go right here to shape fill and I can choose picture right from here and this will change my picture into a shape. So I click picture and I choose from a file because I already have this file of a building saved on my computer. So I choose building right here, and then I insert that picture. And there's the picture of the building on my PowerPoint slide. So that's looking good. Let's go to slide three now. On slide three, we'll see a picture right here in the middle. And let's say that I wanna learn specifically about aligning and arranging my pictures. One of the ways that we could do that is by turning on grid lines. You could turn on grid lines by going to the view tab, show group, and you'll see this right here, grid lines. And grid lines show grid lines in the background of your document for perfect object placement. The grid lines make it easy for you to align objects with other objects or a particular spot on the page. I'm gonna click grid lines. You'll see that it adds dotted grid lines in the background. Please note that these do not print. Um, they are simply here to help you align your objects to the ruler up at the top. If you don't see your ruler, you can again go to the show group and click the checkbox for ruler. All right, so here's our picture. Let's click it. You'll see that our picture is in front of the text. So again, we wanna send that backwards. So I click the picture. I go to the picture tools format tab. I go to the arrange group and I'm gonna click the send backward arrow. And on this one, since again, we know that this one needs to be behind all of the text. I'm gonna go to send to back. There we go. And that sends that picture to the back. With the picture still selected, we can go to the Arrange group right here. All right. And then I want you to choose Selection Pane. The Selection Pane, I just wanted to go over this. This displays all of the objects on the slide. So you'll see that you have the Content Placeholder, the Title, and the Picture. And these are all in order of front to back. So since picture three is at the bottom, that means that it is uh, the thing in the very back. Whereas the content placeholder two is at the top, that one would display in front of the title should we move that text over it. So this is a way to quickly tell how things are ordered in the selection pane. So let's click content placeholder number two, okay? And then let's also hold down, uh, or Rather, just click on uh, Title 1 and then click on Picture 3, and you'll notice that they all select okay, individually. All right, and let's click Picture 3 once more. Using the grid lines as a guide, we're going to drag the picture to the right. All right, so I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to drag the picture to the right until it gets to about the 5-inch mark on the right side. So you'll see 5-inch on the right side. That looks good. 
And then so that the um, bottom edge aligns with the lower half of the ruler at three inches. That's right here. So I'm going to move that down along that grid right there. And you'll notice that the um, that PowerPoint also puts in little smart guides. I don't know if you can see that red arrow. I can't point to it with my cursor right now. But that little red arrow, um, two directional arrow, shows you that you are aligned on that grid line right there. And so that's a really nice way to help um, arrange our pictures on the page. All right, so next up, we're going to learn about adjusting sharpness and softness of the picture. All right, and so let's go again ahead and look at slide three, which is this one that we're on. And make sure you have this picture selected. And then let's go to the Picture Tools Format tab. And then in the Adjust group, which is towards the left side here, you'll see um, right here an option for corrections. Okay, and so this is where you can change the um, color, the corrections, artistic effects, all kinds of stuff. So this, but corrections itself deals with sharpening and softening your picture, as well as the brightness and contrast of the picture. All right, so under picture corrections, under sharpen and soften, we're gonna drag the, or actually um, there's an option down here to where you can customize it further. Let's go to picture correction options. And this will open up a pane on the right side for format picture. I'm going to close the selection pane since it's kind of in the way now. So you'll see format picture on the right side. All right. And what we're going to do is you'll see that there are sharpen and soften. And then you have your presets, which were the ones we saw earlier, or your sharpness right here. OK, we're going to drag the sharpness to the right and you'll see the picture will display sharper. Okay. And you can also hit the presets arrow to look at the ones from before. Let's choose the last option here, sharpen 50%. And you'll see that sharpens the uh, picture 50%. All right, next up, I wanted to show you how to change the brightness and contrast of the picture. You'll see that those options are right down here. You also have those in the corrections area over here as well. But again, they're customized on customizable further on the right side. So let's go to slide one for this example, and let's choose the picture of the um, musical notes. Okay. And again, I can go to corrections and choose picture correction options to display those options. Alternatively, I could have just clicked on picture right here and displayed the options here. So for brightness, let's turn the brightness down and we'll do minus 20 okay, and then press enter and that will make it minus 20%. Okay. And then let's do the contrast up to 20. You could use the arrows for that or type in 20, whatever is easier for you. But I wanted to show both options. So that's how you could change the brightness and contrast of the picture. You could also use the presets right here which um, is the little sun signal or icon. You hit that and you'll see a bunch of different options. I could choose this one, brightness plus 20, contrast plus 20, and you'll see the effects on the image once you do that. Looks good. The last one I wanted to edit was this one here on slide two, the picture of the building that we inserted earlier. Okay. At the top, or I click on the picture, then I could click picture right here, which will allow us to format the picture. And I could increase the sharpness here to 50 by highlighting, typing in 50 and pressing enter. And that increases the sharpness of the picture. So those are some picture options regarding corrections. I will go over some of the other ones like color artistic effects um, in other videos. But for now, we're just looking at picture corrections. So that was how to change your sharpness, brightness, contrast of pictures. Um, and I hope that that was helpful for you. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any more questions, put them into the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond back and help you out. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint 2019, please check out the playlist on my YouTube channel. I've ordered the uh, videos from just starting out with PowerPoint all the way through advanced levels of uh, 
using PowerPoint. So uh, have, a, have a look at that playlist. Thank you so much for watching today and have a great rest of your day.